All right, so here we are again, and um, we made a uh, we made a um, we made a, a video. I made I made two three other videos. The first two showed you how to get a job in the city of Los Angeles, good paying jobs in the city of Los Angeles, California. The next video I made, training video I made was a training video telling you how training you how to get uh, a video I mean, excuse me a job a good paying job with the county of Los Angeles California and uh, those both those videos are very informative I think and at least uh, you know help some people that don't don't kind of quite understand how to search for jobs and never done it kind of walk them through it and that's all I'm trying to do with these videos here so this next one here is Let's assume, see, because it's all a numbers game. If you play the numbers game, you're going to get one of these jobs, and you're going to be able to get. And w when I say a good job, I mean you want to have, um, you want to at least try to get a retirement, uh, a pension, meaning that they're going to pay you uh, a portion of your salary for the rest of your life. Um, you want uh, health benefits for yourself and your family, um, reti other retirement benefits, plus uh, life insurance and all these different perks of having a civil servant job or a job with connected to the government. So, and I'm not saying, oh, this is the best thing in the world. What I'm saying is, um, I, in my opinion, the best thing in the world is to start your own business, but most people don't have an inheritance or some money put to the side to start their own business. They're going to have to fund it by, uh, you know, through their employment, and so um, if you're going to get employed, you might as well get the best employment that will help you while you're there. So with that being said, and I've already I already showed how to get a job with the city of Los Angeles, California. I already showed how to get a job with the county of Los Angeles. Now I'm going to start with California. Now I'm going to show you how to get a job with the state of California. Or, or at least how to find jobs and how to search for jobs and how to put your best foot forward to get a jobs that you qualify for. So, first thing you want to do is we we need to come to the uh, California uh, job for California's website. So, it's not the same as the state website. It's a whole other website, and here it is: it's HTTPS colon four slash four slash www dot calcareers dot ca dot gov um and then when you go there this is what you're gonna see here okay you have a site search contact us help tutorials settings log out right so I'm already logged in but you know um you probably won't be logged in because you might not have an account yet so um first thing I'm gonna do is so you that here right here you can search by keyword right you can search by job or your particular qualification the job that you might be looking for uh, uh in particular like let's say let's say dmv say department of motor vehicles right click on that it's loading and it gives us all these jobs with the DMV, LA, oh, with, the, with the, excuse me, with the um, state of California Department of Motor Vehicles, right? It tells us they're all over the place: Sac Sacramento, Fresno, Riverside, LA, right? But we just need the ones in LA, right? So let's do a refining search. So location, let's say we want to do LA County because we live in LA. At least I do, and so click there. We can search by any county, right? We can we can have any county there, and uh, let's update the results. Okay, save search. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we can search DMV. Oh, my jobs. Okay, that's a, that's a, some that's something else. Okay, let's 
Let's uh, we won't say that search. Okay, let's do something else here. We want to do a, we want to do a geographical search search by relevance. Okay, we want to we want to find the update search results. Okay, so now we updated the search results. I put in here in LA County. So now these are the only ones that are um, coming up is the ones that are uh, jobs that are in L.A. County, right? So that gives us 10 jobs, right? Uh, 10 jobs found, okay? So let's, uh, let's see what this this one is paying, uh, 3000 Okay, so it looks like it's pretty much the same. Um, it's the same uh, job title. Um so let's just see here. Uh, let's view the posting. So let's look at the job posting. Let's see what information they have. What's the job description? Do these? We pretty much know what the job description is for um, uh, Department of Motor, Motor Vehicles. You're probably gonna be taking money and doing, um, you know, doing uh, paperwork of some sort. Um, let's see working conditions. Tuesday through Saturday shift positions. Work week may vary. Position may travel require travel to provide staffing throughout Region Five. Um, you'll find the requirements in the class specification. Okay, job application packet checklist. Okay, so I guess we have to click there. Um, this is the pay scale. Um, information on the department itself. Special requirements, the position. See, this is always what you want to do is go to the requirements. The position requires a background investigation be clear prior to hiring. Okay, that's not uncommon. Um, check and see. Uh, meet minimum qualifications uh, with education you must include. Unofficial transcripts. Uh diploma or for verification okay application instruction who may apply individuals who are currently in the classification eligible for lateral transfer eligible for reinstatement have list eligibility are in the process of obtaining list elig or SROA and or supply eligibility surplus eligibility please attach the letter if available SROA and supply surplus candidates are given priority. Therefore, individuals with other eligibility be considered in event in the event of no SROA or surplus candidate supply. So we we're seeing all this stuff, and it's just basically telling you how to apply, um, where to send packages, where to drop off packages, uh, required application documents. Okay, so you need to look at this stuff. Okay, the following items are required to submit with your application. Applicants do not who do not supply, submit the required items timely may not be considered for the job. Current version of the state examination employer's application STD form 678 when not applying electronically or the electronic state employment application through your applicant account at calcareers.ca.gov. All experience and education relating to the minimum qualification listed on the classification inspection specification should be included to demonstrate how you meet the quali minimum qualification. Remember, I said when you fill out these applications, you got to make sure that it, you look at the qu minimum qualifications and you go back to your application and you make sure your account and you make sure your work experience meets that. You kind of word it to where the work experience meets that. Um, and resume is optional, may be included, but not required. And so this is it here, but we want to know, hey, what's, where's, the, where's the package? What, how, what is it that we need to know? Or we, we, what are the qualifications to have this job, right? Okay, so let's let's go back up here to uh, I think it was uh I 
I think it was um, job and vacation checklist. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really finding what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take a little pause right here and uh, see if I can find it. All right, uh, I had to take a little break and see uh, what was going on. I was looking for the qualifications or the job description page that had more um, information on it. I found it. So uh, going through here, uh, we see minimum requirements. You will find the minimum requirements in the class in the class specification. So we click on here. It says motor vehicle representative. Click on this, and it's going to take us to. Give us more information, right? So it's going to tell us the job code. It's going to give us schematic code, class code, um, established, uh, revised, title changed, the definition, the typical tasks, field offices, licensing, headquarters. This is where we want minimum qualifications. Pursuant to California Government Code Section 1040, fingerprint criminal uh, record clearance is required for these positions and to be eligible for appointment, either one. One year experience in the California State Service performing clerical duties at the level of responsibility equivalent to an office assistant general, or number two, experience. One year experience performing clerical cashier, cashiering, sales clerk, or customer service work. Academic, academic education above the 12th grade may be submitted on the basis of one year general education being equivalent to six months experience. Students who are enrolled in the last semester or its equivalent of coursework, which upon completion will fulfill these requirements, will be admitted to the examination, but they must admit evidence of completion before being eligible to for appointment and education equivalent to completion of 12th grade. So all you need is 12th grade education to this. Um, knowledge of modern office methods and equipment. I guess you got to be able to use a computer or whatever. Ability to write, read, and uh, English uh, level required for successful job performance. Learn, apply, interpret, and explain provisions. And it probably, if you speak multiple languages, you probably can get paid a little more for that. Uh, I know the city sometimes has that, offers that. Um, follow directions, evaluate situations, accurately take effective action, interpret and apply rules to regulation to specific cases, perform cashiering work of average difficulty involving in receiving, dispersing and receiving of money, operating various electronic equipment, office equipment, uh, input information accurately and efficiently into various databases and meet and deal tactfully with the public. I mean, you're going to get some bad customers every once in a while. But, I mean... Basically, this job, all you have to do is have a 12th grade education to get this job. And uh, did we see what the pay was? The pay was like $3,000 a month, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go back and try to take a look and see. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's like three grand a month, four grand a month. Could top out to four grand a month. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's about 50 grand a year. It's not bad. It's not bad to you know, get your foot in the door. Right, you get some benefits. You get, you know, you get, you get, you get some uh, retirement. You know what I mean. So, uh, the f filing date is a uh, uh, start today. Holy smokes! It starts today, uh, twelve eight to twenty twenty. All right, so I can let some people know about that as well. But I'm letting you know about it right now. But this is just one job. If we go back. We can look at many different jobs. I just put in for the DMV. This is many different DMV jobs. They got uh, motor vehicle representative. They got custodian jobs. They got office manager job. They got um, manager three job. I mean, they got all kind of different jobs in here that I mean you can apply for. You know, but the but the straight motor vehicle representative, all you need is a twelfth grade education for that. So. I would look into, you know, I mean, you know, if you really need a job, you can go. And that was just us going through the DMV. If we just go and just say, hey, you know, we want to see whatever, whatever, 
we'll refine our search, right? We'll take the DMV off of there. Uh, let's remove that. And let's just uh let's 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 put Caltrans. Right? Let's let's put Caltrans. Let's uh what let's, let's see, board of equalization. Um let's see you know what? Let's do Board of State of Community uh, pr prisons. Let's do the prison, right? No jobs found board of prison term. Okay. Let's, we can we can do whatever department we want, right? Right? Yeah, we can do whatever we want. Whatever we want. Let's say um <sighs> Board of Corrections, right? Let's do that. Okay. So we remove this. But the point is it's twenty seven hundred jobs on the, the the state website that you can be as you can you can you can apply for and, and we can do the filtering, you know. Of course, we can group the jobs by class, um, right? We can group by classification, um, uh, ungroup by. Cl I mean, we can do whatever we want. We can do it just by geographical search. So we can just do you know we can just do the ones that's in LA. I'm in LA County, so let's just do the ones in LA County. 169 jobs. We just we just hit the ones in LA. Um, I mean, all kind of different jobs, all kind of different jobs here, and it, you know, like I said, it's alphabetized. So, but you can have it going backwards, forwards, however you want to have it. Um, and as uh, advanced job search here, you click on that, and you can kind of put keyword. You know, you can get use more advanced features for that. Um, you can have a minimum salaries. You can, I mean, you got all kind of different uh, things you can divide, divide the job up by and try to find it. Geographical search, like I said, you can just decide, hey, which uh, which counties you want to work out of in the state, which which counties you're willing to work out of, and then exam examination search. Um, you can search by the type of exam, I guess, they have. And uh, search by that and see, you know, kind of if it's a, I don't know what kind of test it is, but if it's a essay or true or false or whatever, uh, you know, multiple choice, whatever, you can search by that. So, I mean, it's a lot of information, um, you know, you can, you can search by whatever you want. Okay. So now we've already, we've already logged no, so I'm going to log in, right? I'm going to log in. Okay, so um, now it's going to so it's going to have my. Now you can see and you you can create your account. You can create your account info. You know, it's got the basic information, and then now it's got the contact information, additional records. Right? Are you a veteran? No, I'm not a veteran. Um, all this other stuff, I'm not. I don't have any of that information. Application templates. So you have not created any application templates. So you can create a template, uh, create an application template. So application name, template name, and you can put a name. It's a template for you. And you can have a bunch of different templates, I'm imagining. And examination, you're replying for it. So you can put the job title that you're applying for. You list your eligibility. Are you eligible for it? Um any of your preferred county to take examination. Do you need a combination to take examination? Have you ever, you know, and it's just a couple of different questions. Do you meet the minimum age qualification? Do you possess a California driver's license? How many words a minute can you type? Basic information, right? Okay, back to the templates. So you created yourself a template, uploaded documents. You don't have any uploaded documents. It would be like your licenses or your 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 BA degree or your MA degree or whatever you got, uh, equal employment opportunity. Uh, they just want to get some information on you. Uh, job applications. So we click on that, and no records. We don't have anything in progress. We don't have anything submitted. We don't have anything archived because I haven't done anything with this. This is just a dummy account to show you guys how to do this kind of stuff. Save jobs. 
This is uh, you know, jobs, no safe jobs, Sean. So you haven't saved any jobs. I would imagine your saved jobs would be jobs that you clicked on that you want, but they're not open now. And then once, you know, you can take a look and see if they're open here, you can kind of go through them. Closed jobs, you know, jobs that you put took, this, I guess, would be ones that you took tests with and you didn't, uh, uh, for whatever reason, um, passed or they passed the filing date or whatever, but you were interested in them, but they're past the filing date. Nothing you could do about those. Examination, exam and assessment applications. So, you don't have any. I didn't. I don't have any. If you had some that you had taken already, it would probably be here already, uh, or that you're interested in, or you want to take. And then um, this, of course, would show if you're eligible. Um, and then if your eligibility eligibility expired, then it's going to show you if your exam exam assessment notification. It's going to give you your results and any other scheduled examinations you have uh, down here it's got save searches um, you know what I'm saying so we searched the DMV and they saved our searches and one message that we have here is your Cal account has been uh, Cal carrier account has been created so no need to archive that but basically this is the message center is going to tell you what you can do you can go down here flip through that so remember you can go home home is the uh, actual page where you'll see this here you know you can get a job get a state job and all this information generous benefits and um it tells you how to basically how to apply it says uh it's a three-step process so step one is search for a job step two is doing an assessment and step three is applying so i, I imagine an assessment that's the process where you find out if you're eligible for the job or not and you like you said you always want to go wherever you see a job notice you want this is a job notice okay this is a job notice see these are these are, let's say let me click on one of these job notices here uh okay i'm just using this for an example this is a uh okay so search update results oh okay well, let's go back. Let's go back and let's find a real job. Let's find a job that's actually open. Let's find a job that's actually open. So let's say this 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 do DMV again. Let's go there. Okay. So this is a job notice, right? Manager uh, four, right? So uh, the job notice. What do we want? We want to go to the minimum requirement. We want to know the qualification the minimum requirements. To do that, we're going to click on over here, or this little area here. Matter of fact, oh, go on, I don't have it with me now. But um, we're going to click on this area here. And um, this area here where it says you will find a requirement. Right under that, it'll be a little link there. And that's when you're going to get a, you'll, you'll get the uh, notice, the bigger job notice. And that's when you can go straight to minimum qualifications. That's what you're looking for, minimum qualifications. That'll tell you whether you're qualified for this job or not based on your work experience or your education. Because if you try to apply for these jobs without being qualified or, or you know, have the education to go with it, I mean, man, it's just going to, you're just going to waste everybody's time. So, no, you know, you're not, people's not going to say, well, you know, you're not qualified, but let me give you a shot. No, that's not going to happen. It's too many people need jobs that are qualified. They're not going to waste time with people that's not qualified. But anyway, I just showed you how you can get a job with the, um, with the state of California. And, uh, you know, so now you can put an application with the city of L.A., California. You can put a, an application in with the county of L.A., California. Now you can put in an application with the state of Los Angeles, excuse me, the, the, the state of California. So that's three places where you can get some good jobs and good benefits, right? Hold on. So that's, I mean, because this, this is a numbers game, right? We got to play the numbers game. So now we play the numbers game. So we hit three of them, 
three out of four. So now we got one more to go. One more to go, and that's the feds. That's the big boys, the alphabet boys. We're going to go with the alphabet boys. When I mean alphabet boys, the uh, FBI, ATF, uh, IRS. So now you can get a good job with the alphabet boys so we can see we're going to, we're gonna we, you know, working with the feds, you can get also a lot of good benefits. So these are just strategies to fund you trying to get your life together and, you know, because things are happening now where, you know, it's hard times, especially on everybody, really. I don't want to say it's just on the young people trying to get jobs. It's stressful on everybody. You lose People are losing their jobs left and right. Dreams are dying, dashing, going against the rocks. So people need to recover. And so how you recover is sometimes you got to take a couple steps back so that you can, so you can uh, take even more steps forward. So sometimes, you, you know, I know a lot of people say, you know, I don't want to work for no one else. But sometimes it comes to that. Uh, you know, to feed your family. So, um, anyway, this is this was this, this video was to train you how, just to show you how to get set up to to apply for jobs through the state of California. The next one is going to be to show you how to apply for jobs through the feds. All right. Good luck and uh, be safe. Peace. <laughs>